So today, I'm gonna to try and teach you how to do a street plant. Um, I actually don't know how to do a street plant, so this is more of a me trying to learn and teaching you at the same time. You can kind of learn as I learn. First off, you should probably go watch some Mike Vallely videos. He's kind of like, obviously, the, the street plant champion. He's got some tutorials. You can kind of see how they're supposed to look because you're not really going to see how they're supposed to look in this video because I'm just learning. Um, so first things first, wrist warm up. Uh, make sure you warm up your wrist real good because you're going to be hitting that wrist a lot as you learn this trick. Then warm up your shoulders, swing it around one direction, swing it around the other direction. Just kind of get your arm nice and warmed up so you don't hurt yourself. Once you've warmed up, start doing some cartwheels. Kind of focus on the first hand that plants down rather than the two hands because that's where the balance is going to be for the street plant. So as you do the cartwheel, kind of hold a moment on that first hand before you put the other hand down and put your feet down. Practice a bunch of cartwheels till you kind of feel them feeling good. Once you can do the cartwheel, next thing I did was kind of practice how I'd go into the actual street plant. So position my feet, toes apart, and then you want to kind of turn around away from the direction you're facing because that's the direction you're going to do in the plant. And then you kind of turn and do a one-armed handstand. And try and balance for a little bit, pretend your hand's holding the board, and then come down. A little thing that kind of helped me was envisioning bringing my back foot towards my hand. That kind of made it feel kind of more secure. So you can try that. Try and bring your back foot towards your hand before you drop down. That helped me a lot. So once you got that, do the same thing, but holding the board. Grab toe side. You can practice swinging your board kind of over your head a couple of times before you go into the handstand because that's the kind of motion it wants to do, not really outwards, more like up over your head. So then just swing your board, go into the one-armed handstand, plant both feet, and then drop down. The hardest part is actually getting the feet to connect with the board, that's what I found. And so what helped me with that was imagining putting my back foot on first. Once you kind of feel good doing the handstand with your board, then you can kind of practice the roll-up position. So position your feet like you're going to do a boneless, grab toe side, take your front foot off like you're doing a boneless, but then take your back foot off also. That's kind of the start position for the street climb. So then next thing is to kind of put the two together. So roll up one direction, go into that boneless position, front foot off first, back foot off second, and then do your one-armed handstand in the opposite direction like it's a 180 move. Just practice that a bunch, kind of rolling up and then trying to get into the handstand and bringing it down. This trick is much harder than it looks and it's hard to make it look good. My ones are looking pretty, pretty stink bug. It's kind of a street plan, I guess. Yeah, it's a fun trick. I'm glad I kind of learned it, and I hope me kind of learning it helps you kind of learn it. So yeah, have a go and have fun.